Today we're looking at algorithms, decomposition and abstraction. Our learning objective is to understand these terms and know how they are applied in computer science. Algorithms, abstraction and decomposition are all strands of computational thinking. Computational thinking is the process of understanding a problem and knowing how to create the most effective solution on how to solve this problem. What is an algorithm? An algorithm is the first strand of computational thinking. In its simplest way to describe it, it is, an, it is a set of instructions for solving a problem or completing a task. You can have algorithms for almost anything. It does not have to be computer science related. You can have algorithms for making a chocolate cake, adding some numbers together, or even building a Lego model. You can represent algorithms in many ways. We will be focusing on flowcharts and pseudocode in later videos, um, but you can write them out in just some form of structured list or any way which is easily readable. The second strand of computational thinking is abstraction. Abstraction is the process of removing unnecessary details from a problem so that you can focus on the essentials. The London Underground map is a good example of abstraction. Here is an example of the map without abstraction being applied. You can see a lot of things on there, but it does make it quite hard to read to understand where the train lines are or the underground lines are. You can see the rivers, you can see some green spaces here, you can see some roads, and you can even see some names which you don't need to know. When you apply abstraction to this, all you do is focus on the core essentials, which is where the stations are and where the lines are and where they're connected. This allows us to interact with the London Underground in the most efficient way possible. The last round of computational thinking that we're focusing on is decomposition. Decomposition involves breaking down a large problem into a smaller problem or smaller subtasks. Rather than completing or trying to attempt to solve a problem all in one go, it makes it easier to break it down into smaller, more manageable chunks just so that we can complete the task in the most efficient way possible. Here's an example of breaking down the task of making a cup of tea. When we're breaking it down, we need to think about all the little elements that we need to consider when making this cup of tea. We might want to think about what type of milk do we want? Do we want sugar or what type of sugar do we want? What type of cup do we want to make our tea in? We might even consider what type of tea we want to make. Now, this isn't the most detailed breakdown of how to make a cup of tea but it is a quick, simple example of how you can break down a small task. You might want to think about how we de decompose a game or a program. Let's say we're creating a dice game program of some kind. When breaking it down, we want to think about the main tasks that we need to complete in order for us to make this game work. We want to think about things like how do we display the rules? How do we establish whether or not the game is two player or one player? We might want to think about how do we display the board if we have a board itself? How do we actually initiate playing the game and how do we display the results when the game is over? These are a few things that we need to think about when we are actually breaking down this task of how to make this dice game. So we've just covered algorithms, abstraction and decomposition. Here are some review questions on the screen. Pause the video, have a go at answering them. The answers will be displayed shortly at the end of this video.